the the modus operandi of the left is mockery, not response. I was reading uh, some of the comments uh, on the YouTube page of Full Frontal. And, of course, they're, they're all against PragerU, but not, not a single one says, well, you know, they did this. And uh, they said this, and let me just tell you how wrong that is. No, not one. The existence of an effective conservative voice is what disturbs them. The mere existence. We are not disturbed by the existence of of uh, of liberal voices, for example. But the, they are deeply disturbed because the the totalitarian element of the left. All leftism leads to totalitarianism. Not all liberalism, but all leftism. Control, not only control uh, speech and behavior, but ideally thought as well. That is why you have all of these things uh, at, for example, at at your place of work. That this is a left-wing attempt to control your thoughts. You really are racist. We are, you, you may treat people of other colors, other ethnicities beautifully, but you have to extirpate the racism that is in you anyway. This is this is Maoist. This is beyond left. This is Maoist, where you have the Cultural Revolution and people denouncing themselves for anti-party thoughts. That that's what that stuff is. All right, so here let, let's uh, let, let's see how much we'll do, and uh, this is this is uh, the episode. It's aired yesterday, right? It was aired yesterday of this thing called Full Frontal with Samantha B. If you've ever watched Fox News, it's easy to think that all conservative media has a very specific energy. You might need an AR-15 with 30 rounds to defend, to defend your family if 50 Antifa thugs show up at your house with your small children. Border Patrol officials calling it a dire situation as waves of illegal Fox, immigrants fly across the southern border. Most swimmers taking a dip on the shores of Cape Cod are treading lightly. If they even dare go in. It's going to be another shocky summer. That's the governor of Massachusetts. But while Fox continues its lifelong quest to scare your grandparents into hoarding Franklin Mint coins, one growing conservative outlet is using colorful graphics and social media to appeal to a new generation. But don't worry, their videos are very normal. Murder. <laughs> is murder wrong? Is it evil? How do you know? Liberals, the research tells us, are generally more outgoing. Okay, so hold it there. Ho- hold it there. So the first thing they show is me uh, with this question, is murder wrong? And uh, is it canned laughter or would she have an audience? Now, why, I am curious, why is that funny? It's funny to a left-wing mind. The, the idea that anybody would pose the question, how do you know that murder is wrong, is a joke. We, we're, it, it, it is worthy of lampooning. The, uh, she doesn't understand this, obviously, but it's a live studio audience. She doesn't understand this, but this uh, this episode about PragerU tells you nothing about PragerU, but it tells you an immense amount about her and her audience. Okay, we continue. The next, what is the next thing that she's lampooning? You know, liberals, the research tells us, are generally more outgoing, more likely to try new stuff. They're open to new ideas. Though not school choice or flat taxes or a market-based health care reform. I want fairness. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Why, why was that funny? There wasn't even laughter. Do you understand? It's fascinating. They pick stuff up that for her and her writers is self-evidently a joke. But you're, if you're not open to a market-based uh, health uh, economy and school choice, and I don't remember the third item then that, why is that an example of something that shows you how silly we are? All right, here's the next one. Is this Daniel Hannan? Yes, this is, this is a member of the European Parliament. 
Okay, which they don't tell you, by the way. They, they, they don't tell you that. They just, they just show the presenter. Go on. School choice or flat taxes or a market-based health care reform. I want fairness. This Generally is... means, look at me. I'm a nice person. The left is destroying the Boy Scouts. The power of the visual to excite men has no analog in women. Oh, honey, no, that's not women. That's just you. <laughs> okay, so there's a big picture of me up there. And that, you know, it's that, so looking at me doesn't arouse women. Okay, fine, it, it has no effect on me. Actually, it's a good picture. They, they could have picked some pictures from the internet that even I would have thought that do, won't do much for any woman. But it is a good picture of me. Okay, so this, by the way, the left hates this. When I say the power of the visual to excite men has no analog in women, this, this is, it, it's, my grandmother, who didn't go to, to high school, knew this. But uh, the left go to college, and they learn the opposite of reality. That's what you learn there. The visual arouses women in the same way the visual arouses men. I mean, I do a whole video on this. If it, 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 do, do, do women browse the Internet to look at men's legs? I mean, why, why does this even... Why is this just even need to be made or to argue to be argued because because the left wants women to think they are men not transgender women are like are identical to men the dennis prager show live from the relief factor pain-free studio